Cornelius Mellow Waves Tour 2018 Documentary, Part 2. In June 2017, Cornelius released his sixth full-length album, Mellow Waves. It had been 10 years since his last release, so the album was highly anticipated and welcomed by fans around the world. Cornelius' international Mellow Waves tour kicked off soon after, starting at the Normal Festival in Mexico, followed by dates in Washington, D.C., New York, Pittsburgh, and Seattle. The next stop on his tour of North America was Portland. Today, Portland is famed for being a hub of alternative lifestyle and culture. Here, they're always keen on doing things a little differently compared with your average big city, and today's venue is no exception. The Revolution Hall was once a school that has since been renovated and turned into a live concert space. Actually, my, my older brother, when I was 12 years old, uh, he gave me uh, Phantasma by Cornelius, and I, I loved it so much. It was so unlike anything. When I was 12 years old, I'd never heard anything like it before. And I realized, oh, this is so beautiful and so strange, and it, it weaves in and out of itself. And, Oh, it, it inspired me to be a musician. And, you are a musician. And I am. And I, I moved here to Portland uh -huh. to, to be a musician. And that's in no small part uh, to my story through Cornelius' music. Oh, so I, I inspired to become a musician. Cornelius has been a big part of my life for a long time. And, and I've loved him for a long time. Yeah, absolutely. Traveling south from Portland along the west coast, the next destination for Cornelius is San Francisco. Known as the birthplace of the hippie movement and all things psychedelic in the 1960s, San Francisco remains a cultural melting pot of art and rock music to this day, and is home to a particularly large number of Cornelius enthusiasts. Here, Cornelius plays two consecutive nights at the Independent.
my name is Destiny. I'm 24 years old and I'm a teacher and I came all the way from Illinois just to see Cornelius. Mellow Waves, it's, it's a very somber, a very somber um, album. It makes me feel a bit of sadness, but a bit of a, a hopeful feeling for the future and growing old. I, I can feel a lot of his emotion in it. You know, talking to a few people here tonight, this guy that I just met over here, Lewis, he just got into him five months ago and we were talking about his favorite album is Phantasma. But I think for me it's always his new album because he, he seems to be going deeper into uh, very specific sounds and, and feelings. So Phantasma is just such a huge kaleidoscopic record and then you know point got a little more focused and minimalistic and then sensuous got even more kind of abstract and impressionistic and I feel like mellow waves kind of continues with all of those things but it's it's just got such a I don't know more mature kind of feeling to it so as someone who's getting older with Cornelius it makes sense so, yeah. After playing San Francisco, Cornelius travels further south to Los Angeles, the last destination of his US tour. Tonight, the band plays the Fonda Theater. This historical venue was established in the 1920s and is particularly famous for being the place where the Rolling Stones filmed their Sticky Fingers concert. The first time I saw him was in 1998. Wow. He had the Whiskey A Go Go. I know his music very well. I know the Trattoria records and everything. I, I'm very, you know. I told her when I first heard his music, it was like um, uh, Style Council, you know, very much like, uh, you know. But the new record, I think, is. Uh, it's like he's come to a little bit different level, you know, it's very, you know, it, the title is perfect because it's, it is very, it's mellow, but it has a, an energy to it. It's really good. Amazing. Show is great. The musicianship is top notch. I mean, it's like watching Rush play. They're just, everybody's really good at what they do. Um, the first time I heard of him, he was in the Plastic Ono Band with Yoko. He played on that record with Yoko and Sean. Lennon, and um, so I was curious who all the players were, because the album was very good, and the musicianship was top notch, and I wanted to, I always read the liner notes and see who did what. That's how I first became familiar with him, from that album he did with Yoko. So, and now when he puts out a new album, I always pick it up, so, excellent. Having completed the American leg of his tour, Cornelius travels onwards to Europe. His first show there is at the Field Day Festival in London. The Field Day Festival includes a significant number of dance and black music acts in its lineup. 
and of all the countless music festivals in the UK, it is one of the most versatile, dynamic, and quickest growing. Each stage at the festival is supported and produced by a music media or fashion brand, and Cornelius is booked to play the stage produced by Crack Magazine. Next, Cornelius travels to Barcelona, Spain to play the Sonar Festival. This year marks the 25th anniversary of Sonar, a festival famed for showcasing some of the most cutting edge and exciting electronic music from around the world. More than just a music festival, Sonar also invites a number of multimedia artists and startups, showcasing a whole range of new technology on a global platform. I'm Enric uh, Palau, co-director and founder of Sonar Festival in Barcelona. It's a challenge to, to be able to have amazing artists like Cornelius presenting shows that will connect with an audience and uh, uh, that, that is ready to discover new music all, all the time. And the way I cannot really predict the, the, the future, I'm, not, I'm only saying that two things. The future is on the hands of the artist, so at this moment there's a, there's a, there's a little man or a little woman, maybe in a, in a subway or in a bus, making music with his phone or with his laptop, and he's going to be the, the artist that will surprise us in the following years. And another idea, I, can, I, can, I believe in the future that technology is moving forward. We are very happy to incorporate technology and creativity all the time, but the life element of enjoying the power of the live performance uh, in terms of, uh, of, of sound, quality, power, and joining different and sharing this experience with friends and other people. I think this doesn't have any competition in new technology because new technology is much more individual. And I'm talking about a, coll uh, uh, a collective experience that I think the live it's, it's providing, and I think we have a long life with great art, artists like Cornelius to, to keep working uh, as a sonar festival and invite these people to present their amazing work.
gracias. This concludes the second part of our Cornelius Mellow Waves Tour 2018 documentary. The Mellow Waves Tour continues as we speak, with an arena tour of Japan followed by dates in Thailand, Taiwan and Hong Kong. However, footage from these shows has yet to be compiled, so until then, sayonara, bye bye and adios.